Very, very pleased to be here tonight as Les finally says uh, goodbye to his job as tourism manager in Varel. Uh, Les and I go back a long way. I was best man when Les and Yvonne were married. We've been friends since our teenage years and uh, that's continued for a very, very long time. And I know that Les has had a varied career, but he has certainly given a lot to tourism in this area and particularly to, to uh, tourism in Varel. Uh, and I'm proud and privileged to call him friend and very pleased to be here tonight to wish him well as he enters into uh, retirement. And my very best wishes to his dear wife Yvonne as well. Hey Les, it's Paddy, as if you didn't know. I'm really pleased we won't be missing out on that wonderful laugh of yours in all the pavilions and halls that we do shows in. Looking forward to it, working with the master. Les, I just can't believe that you're retiring and I'm hoping that you and Yvonne will be able to do a lot of travelling and not too much tourism work. I think the tourism industry is just going to miss you so much but I'll bet you'll still be there, even if it's only in a voluntary capacity. Happy retirement and God bless. Uh, my first memory of uh, Les was, uh, I'm a city, city person, um, born in Hong Kong, lived in Sydney and uh, got a job at Tourism New South Wales. Month in, um, <clears throat> came up here to, to meet the, uh, the boys from New England Northwest and my first memory was I heard this kind of jackal-like laugh. I thought I was in the African Safari uh, <coughs> Reserve Game Park. And it was uh, Mr. Les Moulds. And he said, mate, <coughs> you, you bloody city people, you come out here, you tell us what to do, you tell us how to do it. Uh, he said, I'm not gonna have, I can't, I have to use my language here. Um, you, his was a lot more colourful. Um, <clears throat> you can't, uh, I don't want any of you people coming up here and telling me what to do because if you do, I'm going to actually put you down uh, in your position and I'm going to kick you. Uh, so I said, what do you mean? He said, you just come up here, listen, uh, and I don't, want, I don't want to hear an opinion until you've actually listened to me and come back and actually kind of uh, thought about it and then give me an answer. So I came back to uh, Les and I said okay I've understood one thing you're passionate about your your region uh, you're very how would I put it uh, skeptical about uh, a city <coughs> you know a city ring in that comes up and uh, tells you about your region and uh, I want you to be able to say to me that you've listened to me um, and come back and tell me a spade is a spade and if you can't talk uh, in decent country language, and I don't think I still can talk in decent country language, uh, then he said, don't bother coming back up here again. Uh, so I said, OK, uh, Les, I'll listen to you. And from that moment on, because uh, the guy sitting next to him at the time was uh, Les Parsons, um, my nickname for those two is the Terrible Twins. Uh, and they take no uh, shit from or no, uh, <clears throat> nothing from anyone. Uh, they sit here and they, they have a passion uh, about what is needed for tourism in their area and um, I've been very conscious of, uh, in my new role, having to actually kind of uh, fulfil that. That's my story about Les. He's a no bullshit kind of guy, um, tells it as it is and he's passionate for kind of getting some results for, for his area. And I admire that and I respect it. Um, we don't always agree, um, but at least I've now learnt how to actually talk to Les straight, spade is spade, um, and we have some fruitful conversations. And I think Hi Les! We love you. Thank you very much for all your wonderful help over the years. We couldn't have done it without you. And We're going to miss you. We will miss you. We love you, Les. We Bye. wish you and Yvonne all the best. And we know we'll see you around the traps and, and still working for tourism in the region. So we love you. Good luck. Thank Bye. you. OK, it's great to be here tonight to uh, fa not really farewell, but uh, Les Miles, I've been involved in tourism since uh, probably with him since 1989. And I'm chairman of uh, New England Northwest Regional Tourism Organisation. And, and the input that he's had into the organisation has just been fantastic. You cannot ask for a better person to be involved in tourism and uh, we wish him, as far as the RTO is concerned, 
a great future and he's still going to actually going to be involved with us. So I'd hate to lose a bloke like Les Miles. Hi Les, I'd like to wish you all the best and Yvonne as well um, for your retirement and to say thank you for being such a wonderful and loyal colleague um, over many years and also for the wonderful meals um, that we've shared in just about every city of Australia. Um, all the best and I hope we can keep in contact. Well, good evening, Les, and uh, look, it's just uh, great to be here up in Inverell to wish you all the best in your retirement. Uh, you and I started at the same time. I'm, I'm in Penrith in, ni in 1991 and yourself up here in Inverell. I thought you'd been around a lot longer than that, but it turned out you were actually started at the same time as me. Um, I hope you can forgive me for the time I hung up on you when uh, we disagreed about something, but uh, I'm not sure that you really knew notice because I picked the phone up again and you were still talking. So um, all the best and uh, it's been a, a wonderful experience to know you and uh, thank you for your kindness at different times, your generosity and your, your great sense of humour, your laugh and uh, your uh, willingness to be very frank about what your views are. I think that's uh, well respected and well, uh, well uh, appreciated around the traps. So all the best in the future and uh, it's been great to know you. Thanks Les, good. Me again Les, you know I'm a hog for the camera. I just remembering that over 20 years ago when I first started in Tenerfield, you were the first person to pick up the phone and call me. I didn't know then that I was getting an information rich colleague and later two of the best friends I've ever had with you and Yvonne. The best of luck, mate. See you soon. Love you. Bye. Well, Les, you realise that life moves on. Uh, we are in the mode of retirement. You are entering that mode and with the support uh, from members of the tourist industry, what you've done for me in Varel, I can assure you that you'll enjoy the rest of your life. Also, it's quite common knowledge that you're the backbone of the tourist industry in Inverell, and you must realise that the years that we spent working together, particularly in big sky country matters, that we could always speak to one another, we could discuss things and always come up with a solution. All the best. Uh, one other thing, um, the one thing that I'll always remember you for is uh, because of your very early morning jaunts you were always able to tell us where the best um, morning tea was uh, whenever we were away at a caravan and camping show or a trade show. So uh, yeah, that's a wonderful memory for me. Well, what I've noticed about Les is that I knew him in his previous employment, known him ever since he was involved in tourism in Varel, and he's a guy that there is no grey areas black and white. He's straight up and down person. And what I noticed as him, as a, about as him as a tourist officer, he is the first tourist officer for Inverell that was promoting Inverell rather than himself. And he thought more about his job than he thought about himself. And I think that's a tremendous attribute to have when you're employed in an industry dealing with the public. Of course, the other thing is that when he went to so many different exhibitions where he's promoting Inverell, he was always out there promoting Inverell in the best possible spirit. But of course at the same time he had a great knowledge of other people and other good eating spots. So overall a very uh, flexible person uh, and a, an excellent employee and I certainly wish him well.